Hey guys, I've got something here to unbox today that is from a brand that I had actually never heard of before they approached me and asked me to do a YouTube video about their product. So this is from Silicon Power. And like I said, if you're in North America, you might not have heard of them so much, but there are parts of the world where Silicon Power is quite well known. So what I want you guys to do is if there is anyone in the audience today who has seen Silicon Power for sale in a shop near them, I'd like you guys to leave a comment on the video and say where you're from so that we can get, uh, get a better idea of where Silicon Power is popular. So I'm just going to go ahead and start with the unboxing process here because it's so shiny when the packaging's on it. So let's have a look at what this is. The first thing we're going to see here is that it is a two and a half inch solid state disc. It's part of their Velox series V20. This is Sandforce driven, so that means we are using a Sandforce controller. This is a SATA 2 SSD, although I don't believe it mentions that anywhere on the outside of the packaging. Okay, enterprise class, cost effective SSD, built with Sandforce controller. It's available in a variety of capacities from 60 gig to 120 and higher. All right, we've also got reads up to 285 megabytes per second and writes up to 275 megabytes per second. They cover it with a three year warranty. It does fully support trim and that's pretty much it for the outside of the packaging. So let's see what we've got on the inside with the Silicon Power SSD. Okay, that's it for the box. We have the SSD itself. We have uh, what appears to be, I don't know. Okay, we've got an introduction. Okay, some, some words of caution about not shocking it with static, that's good. Compatible with SATA 2, okay, so they mention it here, low power consumption, high performance, low noise, well, no noise. So these are all traits of SSDs in general. They've got a little installation steps outline and then a warranty card, which you can fill out. And I suppose you, do you mail it? Oh no, you can also do this online, so don't bother doing that, just do it online. Okay, we've got screws. So we have eight screws. So four of these are going to be to attach the SSD to the included two and a half inch to three and a half inch adapter. And the other four are going to be to mount the two and a half inch to three and a half inch adapter into your case. So they've actually helpfully labeled which end you should uh, point the connector on the drive towards when you are installing it onto this drive sled. So let's have a look at the drive itself. Here we are. So it's got a nice golden black label on it, Silicon Power branding. Um, not a whole lot on it beyond that. Looks like it is made in Taiwan. Okay, so we'll move around to the back. It uses just a pretty standard black finish with, uh, with a little bit of uh, speckled paint. So it should be fairly fingerprint resistant. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but when I install an SSD in my system, I want it looking pretty good. At the back, we find our standard SATA power as well as SATA data interfaces and in terms of mounting we've got all of the usual ones so we have four on the bottom and then two on each side so what i'm actually going to be featuring this particular ssd in is a little guide because i've had quite a few people ask me well can i use an ssd for my os and then can i use a hard drive for my data so I'm going to show you guys, uh, I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to do it on a laptop or on a desktop, but I'm going to show you guys all the steps involved in buying an SSD, adding it to your laptop or desktop, and then using your old hard drive for storage. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips, and thanks for watching.